We're going to explain how to run a program, in this case a hypothetical X-Force keygen, as an administrator in Windows 10. Remember, running unauthorized keygens is illegal and carries significant risks, including malware infection and legal repercussions. This explanation is for educational purposes only, and I strongly advise against using keygens. Proceed at your own risk. 1. Locate the keygen. First, find the X-Force keygen file on your computer. It will likely have an write single quote dot XE write single quote extension. Remember the exact location as you'll need it later. 2. Write. Click the keygen. Once you've located the file, right click on the XForce keygen's executable file. Don't double click it. This is crucial for running it with administrator privileges. 3. Select Run as Administrator. In the context menu that appears after the right click, you'll see several options. Look for and select the option that says Run as Administrator. It might be slightly worded differently depending on your Windows version, but the core meaning remains the same. 4. User Account Control UAC. Prompt After selecting Run as Administrator, Windows will likely display a User Account Control UAC prompt. This prompt asks for your permission to allow the program to make changes to your computer. This is a security measure. Click Yes to continue. 5. The keygen should run. If everything went correctly, the X-Force keygen should now be running with administrator privileges. You should see the program's window open. Note that even with administrator privileges, running unauthorized software still carries huge risks. You might see errors or the keygen might not function as expected. This is normal with such software. Always be cautious and scan any downloaded file with a reputable antivirus program before attempting to run it. It is strongly advised to only use legally obtained software. 6. Troubleshooting. If you encounter issues, ensure you are logged into your Windows account with administrator privileges. If you're using a standard user account, you won't be able to run the program as administrator. If you still encounter problems after selecting Run as Administrator, you may need to check your computer's security settings or consult more specialized troubleshooting resources. Again, remember that using unauthorized software poses significant risks, and I strongly discourage its use. This information is provided for purely educational purposes regarding how to run programs with administrator privileges in Windows 10.